Hey everybody. Happy, happy, happy Sunday. It's Sunday, it's Sunday. I'm just taking it easy. I have the fan going in the bedroom. I shut the window because you know when you let the heat in, it like totally kills everything. I lowered my blinds, you know, I shut my blinds a little bit. And that's supposed to keep the coolness in the room. I don't want to put the air conditioner on it. It's, it's just too early for it. It's not even June yet. I just don't do that. Right today is going to be 91. Um, yesterday, I went to the mall. I didn't purchase anything. I was looking for a bathing suit. A one-piece bathing suit. Now, Primark had awesome bathing suits. I mean, I'm always... I'm always missing out. I'm always missing. It seems like I'm just a... When you get in front of it, just purchase it and just grab it because you're never going to see it again. Well, sure enough, they only have now a small section of bathing suits, mix match. $4 for the tops, $4 for the bottoms. I don't do bikinis. That, that ain't happening. Um, they didn't have any colors that I wanted. They had a nice green one. I wasn't confident. I wasn't confident. Uh, you know, they have the fitting rooms. You can try them on again. But I wasn't. I was not confident. Uh, four dollars for the top. Four dollars for the bottom. They did have one pieces. I wasn't confident with the one pieces. I like the one pieces where it has like a little skirt, like a little flowy thing at the bottom to where it covers your bottom. You know, I'm. You know, I'm gonna. I'm 54 years old. I mean. You know, I'm not into twerking or anything, so I don't do that crap. I have a little bit more respect for myself and my age to where I know I could dress a certain way. And then again, there is a limit. There is a, there is a boundary that you just should not cross. Okay, I don't care how freaking old you are. I don't care if you look like Pamela Anderson when you're 80. I don't care. But firstly, you know, if you want to do it, that's fine. For me, I have a little bit more respect for myself. Okay. Um, yeah. So anyhow, I did not see anything. I was a little bit disappointed. I went to the Ardeen store at my mall. I love Ardeen. Um, again, walls full of bikinis. I'm probably going to have to go to a person's shop to where it's a little bit older or a little bit more mature. I don't know. I went to a few other stores. I was store hopping. I didn't find anything. So I'm going to probably maybe go to Target or Marshalls. And I really don't care for going to Marshalls. I'm not crazy about Marshalls. Um, it, to me, it, it looks like one big rummage sale. I could probably try Old Navy. I have that near me. Um, yeah. I just wanted something... Or the last resorts. I even told my husband. My husband says, "Oh, I'm, you know," because I wrote him yesterday. He says, "Oh, I'm sorry." I says, "Yeah." Um, the last resort would be to open up the bag for Disney. You know, my Disney luggage, and just pull out a bathing suit from there. Because you know, we're not going in September, so it doesn't really matter. I didn't want that. I wanted a swimsuit for our home here, for our pool. You know, just have something separate. You know. But unfortunately, you know, that will be the last resort. I just really don't feel like opening up the closet and digging everything out. Because that, that is a pain in the ass. Uh, <laughs> let me show you. Um, I should have had it here in front of me. And I will talk to you as I am going to the next room. I'm sorry for that. I should have had it in front of me. Um, yesterday I went for my watch battery. I, I decided to get some watch battery because my good Invicta watch that I love, that I love, um, died out on me. I cannot really, what time is it? It's 1101, yeah, it's 1101 on the mark. I like, I like my watches to be set five minutes more. So instead of 1101, I want it like 1106, 1107, maybe even 1110. I am never late for anything. I will just say that to you. And the reason why I am never late is because I always set my watch faster than what it is. So I get to places like 10 minutes early. I'm cool. It's just a common sense thing to do. I don't know. I don't, I never understood why anybody's late unless you're in traffic, unless you're in, set your watches a little bit faster. This way you'll leave the house early. You'll get 
train early, you'll catch the bus early, you'll catch, you know what I'm saying? You'll be there. This way you don't miss anything. So anyhow, I went and got, um, <coughs> I went and got um, the new watch battery. I found a nice jeweler that is um, Invicta certified. My Invicta store at the mall where I purchased this watch is now gone. Uh, probably due to the COVID situation. A lot of stores are gone. Um, yeah. But a lot of stores will be opening in my mall. Newberry Comics is coming to my mall. Oh, thank you, God. I love Newberry Comics. Um, I deal with the Newberry Comics store in my old vicinity of Queens, um, Roosevelt Field Mall in Long Island in New York. They have Newberry Comics. I love them. I love them. It's just awesome. Anyway, so I'm happy to know that I have a new Barry Comics coming to me. Anyway, this is my Invicta watch. I love, love, love this watch. You can see the face on it. I'm sorry, it's backwards with the Mickey and Minnie. I don't do the out in the open Mickey and Minnie. I do have watches. I think I did a video on them. If not, I will do another video. I will pull out all my watches. And uh, this keeps the date as well. It is an awesome, awesome, heavy, very heavy, very sturdy watch. No, it is not a man's watch. This is the actual woman's watch. Disney World, you can buy Invicta watches in Disney World. You can buy them on Shop Disney. Try to avoid that. And the reason why I say try to avoid that is just because they're three and four and five hundred dollars. I see watches on there for six hundred. All right, I bought this one on sale. My husband purchased it for me for my fiftieth birthday. The year we didn't go to Disney World because of the storms and because of my train wasn't going. Um, yeah, so my husband purchased me the watch. And this, I think this watch was $189 on sale. Grabbed it right away, right out of the Invicta store. I just love it. It's a very neat looking watch. It's a beautiful looking watch. Somebody wrote a review on Disney on the shop Disney, they purchased a watch, a woman purchased a watch. She says, I didn't realize it was so damn big. She says, why is it big? I thought it was a man's watch. No, it isn't. Look at the face and look at the size of the diameter. They tell you the diameters on the watch. I have to clip this. Okay. And it has a double lock on it. So this one, I will just, you know, if, when I'm ready, I will close it. I know you can't really see it. It is an awesome, awesome watch. It's beautiful. I love the way it fits my arm. I like big watches. You know, I wear my bracelets. I wear my, you know, my urban bracelets. I wear my chains. I wear, it's just, it's just a great watch. I love it. The last battery, even the man had asked me, he says, how long have you had the last battery? I says, I'll be honest with you, at least two and a half years. I says, and then it finally conked out. He says, well, these watches take a special battery. And he showed me the size of the battery compared to the regular battery on the watch. He says, this is the regular little size, little pill size, like a little aspirin size. He says, look at the size of this one. He says, I'm going to take it out. And then you also need, he says, this is, this just doesn't open like a regular watch. He says, it's not a turn and screw. He says, this, this, I have to get a special tool for it. So and that is the, I can't even show you the inside. I'm so sorry. Let's see if I can do this. No. Oh, maybe I can. No, I can't. <laughs> It just won't allow me, it won't allow me to show you the Mickey and Minnie that's inside, so. But anyway, it is good, it is good, and I am glad, and the watch battery was 10 bucks. He even said, he says, you know, you go to the Invicta store, they will charge up to $35 for this watch battery just because of where you're buying it, number one, and it's because it's their company product. So he says, you know, that's it. But I know now that I have a nice jeweler that's in my mall that I can go to. All right. Um, scrapbooking today. I was going to do some scrapbooking. I was actually going to take apart this book. This, this book hasn't been apart in five years. I remember it was such a pain in the ass to take the book apart the first time. I know I didn't do it right. So I looked on Amazon a few months ago and I purchased the page extenders. And I think I showed you, this is how they came on Amazon. Beautiful box, beautiful kit. I think I paid $12.99 for this set. I don't think I could have ever gotten the, something like these on uh, in Michael's. 
they give you all the numbers to everything. Came in a beautiful box. Beautiful case. And even got it even has the little tools with it. So I am very ecstatic. They gave you anywheres from small, 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 small little page extenders to the big ending mama ones. So I have a whole variety, and I'm probably going to have to use this. I'm probably going to have to use this. I could see it coming. Um, yeah, they give you the tops with them, you know, the, um, the screw tops. So it's only a one-top screw, and the bottom is just the bottom, as you see here, which makes it easier for me because I think this page, these page extensions that came in the book, actually have the two-sided. I have to look again. I have the two-sided ones. But I know I didn't do it right. Because what it's missing in each between each page is that cardboard dividing extender. I do have some, so I'm gonna have to do that maybe every ten pages just to bring the book up. Hopefully the book will be level instead of going like this. As you see right now, it is like you know up high, and this is not level like that. So I want to say. That the screws, yeah, these are like weird ass screws. And I'm gonna look at the back of the book. Yeah, see, I don't even think I did it right. But I mean, the book is intact, it never came apart, but I do need the extension so this way I can level the book out. You know, I don't know if I'm gonna add any more pages. I did add more pages, that was the reason for me undoing this book to begin with, but I didn't do it right. So. Anyway, I want to tell you a little bit about this book. This is a book that was purchased from Hallmark around the time for my 50th birthday. And the thing was is that I have so much Disney stuff. You saw some of it on the table. That's just some of it. I mean, I have boxes full. I'm still going through the boxes. I'm still getting rid of a lot of stuff, stuff that I don't need anymore. Thank goodness. But this book is was purchased from Hallmark. They had the princess one, too. I didn't care for the princess because you know me with pink. I like the Mickey. And um, this book was about $50. It has seen a little bit of better days. But, hey, you know what? That's what a scrapbook does. To me, I see on YouTube... Um, oh, here's a little damage. Ugh. Okay, that's a little damage right there. Uh, I watch YouTube videos on scrapbooking. I belong to a few Facebook pages of scrapbooking. They do miraculous jobs. I mean, however, to me, and I think I've explained this before, it is a more personal thing for a scrapbook. It is a scraps, what I consider is a scraps of your life. You see a keychain, you see a piece of paper, you see, you see a picture, uh, you see a sticker, you see, you see a guide map, you, do, you know, these things are, I consider for free. So I take them because I know what I want to do with them. I want to display them. I want to save them. And this way I just pull out the book and everything is in, is in one. I can always look back at my memories. We all do this anyway. But, um, yeah, I don't know if I could show you some pages. I'm not really, you know, I'm not done with them yet. I don't even have Pop Century in here. And I've been going to Pop Century since 2003, so I needed to backtrack. So, I just, maybe I should just, um, this is one that I had saved. Um, I had saved one of the bags, obviously. Who, who doesn't save bags? I just took pieces, bits and pieces, the luggage tag, some stickers, some, some stuff with our name on it, and I made this opening page. The photo pass card, one of the original photo pass cards. Uh, we've been doing, going to Disney since 1994. So, um, our first resort was the Polynesian. I'm not going to go through all of it. See, I'm losing things now. Oh, okay. Oh, because things are stuck within pages. They're not even in there yet. This was that thing here with the Polynesian, the original, our original Polynesian. So, things like that. Some of the things from the resort, I kept, I took a piece of the Hawaiian lei that they gave us. This is very hard to do. Took a piece of the Hawaiian lei that they gave us. No, I can't do it. All right, anyway, let's 
getting ridiculous. So, I know this is going to be hard. <laughs> I took a piece of the Hawaiian leg they gave us. <laughs> this is uh, One is Fun. This is our first year at the Polynesian. It was wonderful. You know, I understand. This is the first uh, room key. When the room keys look like that. Actually, the room keys. I have room keys. Let me see. I have room keys. See, now this, I did Tower of Terror. Um, MGM. When it was MGM, I still have the original guide map from the 90s. I save things. I just save things. These are some of the fast passes that I have. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, fast passes. And I need to continue on the next page. So I kept one of the pages open for certain things. Oh, see, I have other things coming out. You know, Animal Kingdom. I have uh, the conservation button. Uh, more conservation buttons, more fast passes. You know, these are things that I save. Now, I also want to show you, if I could show you. See, and I kept a page blank for that. This is just some of the things, you know, just some of the things. Uh, pieces of Christmas cards that we had gotten. I'm going to be doing that. Um, let me see. Water parks. I will do probably an overhead shot of this uh, in the next couple of months. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay. The 25th anniversary. Who doesn't like the castle as the cake? We've had debates on this. Many, 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 many debates. <laughs> I saved uh, the table napkin. You know? Um, here's the room keys for the 25th anniversary. We still had the room keys. You know, no magic bands back then. It was no such thing as magic bands. Back here was the background. I don't know if I can show you. Back here was the background for uh, the plastic bag. Right here. This is the plastic bag. I saved that. Um, me in front of the castle. The castle itself. A lot of people were debating on this. I actually loved it. I wish they would have got it. I wish they were going to do something like that again for this one. I just don't. I just don't like the colors of the the castle. This is one of the guide maps. Remember the magic. This was the um, during um, the film. There was a film, it wasn't Wall's Dream yet, but this was a film on Disney World that uh, they gave you a commemorative button, Guest of Honor, and they asked you the first year that you arrived at Disney. We said 1994, so they gave us the sticker to attach to the button. This is my husband in front of the castle. This year, we stayed at the Contemporary this year. So, uh, for this uh, for this time. We, always, we stayed at the Polynesian. It was our first trip. I said that. Contemporary... As the years went on, I spent we spent our honeymoon at the Contemporary. I think that was one of the last times for us at the Contemporary. The price is raised, you know. I feel like sometimes in Disney World, um, you know, I know nothing stays the same, but for the prices, I feel like we got evicted. We got kicked out of certain things because, you know, people just can't afford that anymore. So, but anyhow, this is me in the lobby. And this button here, see, like I keep these things. This button here, I'm wearing here in this picture. I know I posted this on my Instagram page as one of my memories. Sometimes I like to use pictures as memories. And this is a holographic button. And this is 25 years of magic. I think you can see that moving, but here I am wearing the button. So it's things like that. This is good old Pleasure Islands. Yes, my husband and I used to go to the club 8-Tracks. This is one of the guide maps. This is some of the confetti. At nighttime, they used to hold New Year's Eve every night. This was our wristbands because, you know, if, if you want to drink, you had to prove how old you were. So we saw uh, country legend Travis Tritt one night. We seen him perform on stage. Um, let's see. This page is, like, fun. I really I really went all out for this page. This, um, These are people that actually were the heads of Pleasure Island. We got picked to be... The Funmeisters one night, my husband and I, we got picked to be the Funmeisters of Pleasure Island. And what we did was we had to go on stage. We had to do a little dance with the dancers. And I was the one that pushed the plunger 
that night to start off New Year's Eve, the New Year's Eve celebration. Every night they had New Year's Eve at Pleasure Island. So um, I was one, I was, my husband and I, we were actually picked to be the fun mices. What you got with it was a free beer and a shirt. So, and to this day, I still have that shirt. It's faded, but I still have that shirt. Many good times at Pleasure Island. Many good times. <laughs> and we love the, the uh, we love the uh, Club A tracks. So that was the good old nightlife of Pleasure Island. There is a page dedicated to Facebook of Pleasure Island. Uh, the employees that worked at Pleasure Island, most of the employees from the clubs that work there, you know, uh, they have their little um, opinions about the new Disney Springs. I don't blame them. I had went on there because I know some of them. I went on there and said, you know, to me, my opinion is it turned into one big mall and food court. I mean, how many restaurants do you really need? How many how many stores do you really need? They want you to eat and buy, eat and buy. Eat, yeah, because you need to eat to survive. But, you know, they just want you to spend money. This is what, that was my personal opinion. A lot of people seem to agree with that. Yeah, this was the first uh, guide map here in 1994. I'm sorry, I'm holding this up and I am like breaking my arm. I really am, because this is the wrong phone case to be doing this shit with. All right, um, this is my guide map for 1994. These are the Space Mountain Fast Pass. This is one of the guide maps to the one of the older years. And, you know, another page I have to continue. So, um, 1994 Epcot guide map, which actually says 1994, thank God. And I have to continue that page. Where is, aha, here is all the room keys. I'm sorry. Oh my God. My arm is going. Here is all the room keys. Most of our years, because I still have, I still have a box full of room keys. These are the ones, the original, original, original room keys that have the holes. These were also the Polynesian. Polynesian. Room keys. This is the one. These are my favorites here. The ones with the Tinkerbell. Those were cute. So. And I dedicated two pages full of that. <laughs> so it's just, it's just that way. You know? Scrapbooks are scraps of your life. I don't particularly care for doing one or two pictures. This mostly is mostly um, things that I collected. The memorabilia. Things like that. You know? I mean, I even have one of our parking passes still. I mean, you know, which now you pay for parking. But no, parking was complimentary down there <laughs> before they uh, before they did that uh, paying $13 a night for parking, which is one of the reasons why we can't rent the car anymore. So that stinks. And so on and so on. And that's really it for this. I just have to fill it. I have a page dedicated for um, Amtrak. I have our first airline tickets ever for our trip back in 1994 things like that I see people decorate a page so much to where they put one or two pictures and they have the whole page decorated it all looks pretty and cute but where's the memories these are my memories a few years back I purchased this deluxe scrapbook kit from Disney World I got this got this quite a few years ago these have wonderful pages. Oh, see, I even have... My husband bought the box of pins from 2013. I even have the front of the box. Um, these have wonderful pages. Oh, I purchased... I think I purchased two of these pages from Michael's. Of all, of all places, I purchased two pages from Michael's. But um, it has wonderful pages. It has pages full of stickers... These are just some of the sticker pages. You could just be creative. And I'd rather do it that way than to buy special things and buy more things. And I see people, I see, um, you know, women have craft rooms, and that's great, um, that have drawers full of special pages and special this and special stickers and special. Just come from the heart. Decorate from the heart. That's what I'm doing. 
decorating from the heart. And this is my heart, and I put my heart into a book. So with that being said, that's going to be my day. And it is a little after 11 o'clock. I already had coffee. And I think I'm just going to sit here. I'm still debating whether to take this book apart. This is going to be a pain in the arse. And with all that done, I have the tools to do it. Let me see how far I can go. If not, I will just maybe fill some of the other pages. This book, like I said, was started a few years back, so I need to update it. I don't think I have any pictures of the Polynesian, uh, not Polynesian, um, Pop Century, because they're all digital now. See? Everything was digital. I may just have to print some pictures out, send them over to CVS, and then pick them up maybe, maybe tomorrow or Tuesday. I can do that. Yeah. So then I could just do that and add them to the scrapbook. I don't want to print them here on the printer. I'm the, I, you know, years ago we were printing pictures on the printer. They just suck. Just Digital pictures from a printer only last about 10 years before they start decaying. I don't know if you know that. The ink and the paper, you know, it's supposed to be special paper. It's supposed to be it. Forget it. Don't, don't even do it. Just have, just, just send them to the store. Print them, you know, have them printed out and then you can pick them up. It's very easy. All right, people, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for letting me tell you a little bit about, more of a little bit about my life. This is what I do. Just memories from the heart. So, just documented, and boy, I documented a lot. <laughs> All right, people, again, have a great Sunday. God bless you. If you still go out there, wear your mask. My mall was completely crowded yesterday. I forgot to also mention that. My food court, I'm happy to say I went for lunch at Taco Bell. My food court went back to the original way. All the tables, all the chairs are back. There are all people all over the place. You still have to wear your mask, but, you know, when you go to eat, of course not. Um, the security guard is gone. Doesn't need to take your information anymore. So we are going... Little by little, baby steps were going back. It was great. It was so great to see yesterday. It really was. A little scary. I'm going to be honest. A little scary. But you know what? We have our masks on, so we're still good. Some people are wearing the mask below the nose. <laughs> anyway, that is it, people. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Be safe out there. God bless. Bye-bye.